As I think about Valentine's Day coming up tomorrow, I realize that no matter who we are, no matter what our age is, no matter what kind of personality we have, relationships with others are extremely important to each and every one of us. One of the most beloved passages of Scripture talks about relationships and love. John 3.16, For God so loved the world. Relationships are the fabric of our lives. Who we connect to and how we connect to one another, how we relate to one another and how we relate to the holy, transform us and speak volumes about who we are and make us who we are. Relationships form us and transform us. And we all want relationships that are healthy, relationships that are life-giving. And maybe that's why one of the most beloved hymns in the Christian faith is blessed be the tie that binds our hearts relationships, relationships founded on that deep love that we receive from God through His Son, Jesus Christ, relationships that affirm to us and help us to feel the power of God's presence at work in our lives. That's why it's so important what we are doing here today, gathering together to worship, gathering together in fellowship, gathering together to study God's holy word, Times of gathering together with one another in relationship. Help us. Help us to go and do likewise as Jesus called us to do. That's why one of the most important ministries here at Washington Street United Methodist Church is our children's ministry. Because we believe, like Jesus, that the children are important. They are not just the church of the future. They are the church of the present. You may not see little children gathered here in the sanctuary right now, but let me tell you, in looking at the membership roles of this great church, there are 80 children under the age of 12 connected to this congregation. 80 beautiful children of God who are connected to this congregation. And I want to thank you as a congregation for having the foresight and the determination and commitment to increase the hours of our youth director from part-time to full-time so that she can serve not just the teenagers in this congregation, but also these 80 children who are under the age of 12. Mackin is dedicating her time and her energy not just to our teenagers, but also to these young children in a ministry effort where Sunday schools will start up once again for children and nurseries will start up once again on March the 6th. I hope you'll encourage the families with young children to come on that great Sunday that March the 6th might be a day that we celebrate the children in our midst. We will be presenting Bibles to our third grade children the week after that. And if you walk down the hallway in the sanctuary today towards the parking lot, you will notice a table that has been set up by Mary's maidens, our young children. And they've made beautiful valentines that you can buy. Aren't they precious? Beautiful valentines that you can buy for a dollar a piece to help our children learn to support missions, to care for the least, the last, and the lost among us. I want to thank you again for supporting ministries like our children's ministry. We're transforming lives, and we're creating a beautiful community where God's love is felt by children of all ages. May God continue to bless us with this ministry of love and care. Amen.